Liam McEachran is navigating the waters on Tabusintac Bay, a stretch of New Brunswick coastline teeming with lobster, clams and oysters, but also riddled with hazardous sandbars. In recent years, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans has dredged the harbour, making the shallow channel near the sandbar safer to pass through. But days away from lobster season, it announced it will not be dredging. It's very dangerous. It's dangerous every time you go in and out. Weldon Harding has been lobster fishing at the Tabusintac Wharf for more than 40 years. He says the channel often becomes too dangerous to navigate. We lost three, three guys already because of, of, of that gully where they drowned it in it. And it, it, it is just that it's narrow and it's shallow. And if you come in and if it's rough, you hit the bottom, the next wave takes you and sinks you. In 2013, three fishermen died after their boat ran into the sandbar and capsized. The community fought for the channel to be dredged before the tragedy. Nine days later, Fisheries and Oceans Canada started to clear it. DFO says dredging in Tabusintac and Point Sapin has been postponed to a later year. In a statement, it says it dredges dozens of harbors across Canada each spring and must prioritize the funds available to maximize the operational capacity of as many harbors as possible. They say they don't, they don't want us on it, but we're still using it. Taboos and tack fishermen are also calling for repairs to their aging wharf. I don't know what, 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 what we're going to do. And they told us our wharf was not to be repaired. No dredging. Now, now they don't want to send the survey boat. So uh, it's critical that work needs to be done here. Martin Mallet with the Maritime Fishermen's Union says the wharf in Taboosintac is one of the worst he's seen in the Maritimes. Well, the wharf is falling apart. Uh, part of the wharves uh, are, are completely closed, and uh, we still have the same number of fishermen fishing out of this wharf. Uh, we're close to 40 fishermen here, including uh, some members of Eskinopadish uh, First Nation. Uh, so, I mean, if they don't have uh, a spot to, to park their trucks or put their traps or unload their fish, um, well, then we have a serious issue. We, we, we're gonna fish. We're gonna fish this year, and we're gonna stay here. There's there's no place for us at the neighbor uh, wharf. We need something done, or there's gonna be another tragedy happen.